Okay. I know my limits. Just, just. The only problem is, is if I have to confront someone on the train. Welcome to Tipsy Talk with Helen Anderson. Hello. Hello. Honestly, Hazel, I've lost. I've lost the shit giving right now. Mm. It's really hard. Mm. To just care so much all the time. Mm, no, it is. It's exhausting. I really enjoy just letting myself go. Mm. Like, mm. like, I've been such a pig. <laughs> and don't do the thing where you can't be like, you so skinny, you haven't let yourself go. Like, I've put on a bit of stone. Really? Yeah, I have. No, you have not. I just don't, I just wear really, like, clever clothes. Can I touch it? Yeah, Because, like, I'm, I'm trying to... Have a, have a little feel. Well, I'm just trying to... She's just grabbing my stomach flap. Like, but that's my belly, and yeah. then there's... There's my tire, oh, like there. I have to lift my dress. Look at this. Look at that fucker. That's what I've, oh mate, that's what I've got. There's always a snowball effect. Mm. Like with math, I'm like, should we get Nando's takeaway? Yeah. And then should we go get dessert and beer? Oh my god, have we got popcorn in the fridge? We did well, have we? And then yeah. we're just like, good yeah. nuts. And there comes a point as well when you're dealing with like all your mental stuff mm -hmm. and your relationships and your family life, and your work life, and your friendships, and your... It's just so much that it's like, I can't count calories as well. Mm. And that's one thing I'm gonna allow myself. I'm just gonna be kind to myself for a little while and say, Hazel, eat whatever the fuck you want. But at the same, on the flip side, I love cooking. So when I cook healthy food, right. it is really like good. So after I eat so good, I do feel... I feel great. Got sexually harassed the other night. It was really nice. Mm -hmm. Girls, if you haven't done this, I swear it's the most fun you can have with someone is to just question the logic of it. So what do you say? So I was walking in the street the other day and a builder, this fucking asshole, he was stood there leaning against the railing, not doing any work, my add. So I was walking down the street and that thing where they watch you the whole way down the street, so the whole approach is awkward, for, for starters. And I get to him and I'm waiting for it and he's just like, all right, love, and I stopped. I went back and I said, sorry? And then he has to repeat and says, so it's like, all right, love. And it was like, that must be really awkward for yeah. you to have to do. And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. You all right? And he was like, yeah. I was like, <laughs> brilliant. Brilliant, well, have a good day, you fucking idiot. And walked off. Oh and I saw someone like laughing at him. It was great. My boyfriend is a carpenter, and so he spends his life on building sites. And I can guarantee the reason why they have done that is because they want to show off to the other oh, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if you question that guy that has done that to you, you can, I can guarantee that as soon as you've gone, the rest of the lads on the site have rip that guy another <laughs> asshole. Like, they're like a dog chasing a car. And like, if they stopped the car, they wouldn't know what to fucking do with it. <laughs> now I'm here, I'm here. You've got my attention. What? How has evolution not weeded you I don't out? know. Every Monday when Matthew goes to work, the guys always say to him, have you had sex this weekend? Really? Would you have a tea last night? <laughs> say to them when they ask you did you have sex this weekend and he's like I say yeah and I'm like okay but why do you ask each other this kind of stuff like they're obsessed with each other's sex lives which is very questioning like you don't do that when you go into an office <laughs> right do you you don't <laughs> can you imagine that Merlo. I did pick a good one. Did you? I can't believe this I never had a difference. This is a fiver, this was. This is a really nice. I had a crepe the other day. Right, and I find the word crepe really funny. <laughs> Bow it. Like crap. crap. I just got it, Helen. I know. But I was literally <laughs> like, the other night I went and had a crepe. Yeah. <laughs> Dorito's gonna sponsor me, that's what I wanna know. I'd happily eat a family-sized bag of them, not a problem. Mm -hmm. Not a problem. With well, some salsa and sour cream dip. And you kind of like go... <laughs> <laughs> the last time I went with that power was like that. Very oh, cute. And we spoke about... the film. Funny that, you spoke about films with Jack Howard. Was it 2001 A Space Odyssey or in It really was. <laughs> was <it? laughs> How did you know that? Because we had this thing recently. 
recently <laughs> with like a bunch of us went to see 2001 in a oh. cinema because they were showing it again. But then, <laughs> I'm not being mean, Jack. You know I'm just taking the piss out of you. He, um, he like he really enjoyed it, like rightly so. He hadn't seen it and like he really enjoyed it. Learned a lot from him about filmmaking, but then he like made a whole video about it, <laughs> and then he wouldn't fucking shut up about it for a really long time. So now I'm not sure if he's aware, but we do have an internal joke about Jack in 2001. Now. I like Jack Howard. Jack's good band. <laughs> Jack is good band. Actually. Like and that, what I love is that I can risk the pace and not feel bad. Like I know that he could make a video and say whatever the fuck he wanted about me and that would be okay. And that's how friendship should be. Like, yeah. you should be able to just take the mick out of each other. I hate it when you have to go, like, fanny ass around people. Oh. Or tiptoe. Uh, often Sorry. I'm brutal. What's the difference between fanny assing and tiptoeing? You just fanny ass. <laughs> like, you just don't get to the point. If you were taking ages getting ready in the morning and we had to go somewhere, I'd be like, take some fanny ass around! Faffing. It's like faffing. Brilliant. Fanny assing. Brilliant. That's a new phrase I have now. Hmm. Arts. Like some people have like questioned my dad on calling his children an object, and he says it's a it's a term of endearment. I've never said the c word on my channel. Have you not? No. I don't think I have. I think people don't understand that in Ireland it's kind of a term of endearment. Like, yeah. I'm just gonna say it, like, and I, I do apologise to anyone, but like in Ireland it's like, oh Harry, you might come to you. Yeah, yeah, it's great to see you. Like, and it's like, it's a nice thing. You can take back a word, like you can reclaim a word and make it mean something different yeah. to what it was intended to mean. Yeah. Does it not make you feel full of wanderlust when you look at all these planes going around your apartment? No. I'm literally the only person in the carriage, apart from this woman that decides she wants to sit next to me, even though there's so many other free seats on the train. Free that seats everywhere. Mad. She clearly sat next to me and I was like, I had to Why? move my bag out the Why? way. I don't know. It's like when you're in a the toilet and all six cubicles are free and someone comes and gets in the one fucking beside you. Yeah. I got a comment from someone recently on one of my tipsy dogs being like, you are such a disgusting role model. I was like, oh, God. Really? What could you get me drunk? Could you get me drunk? Oh. I just feel like I just wish people would back off. I feel sometimes I need to be a bit reserved me in too. some of my stuff because of that. Mm -hmm. But then at the end of the day, like, I know the people that are my age watching my videos can relate. Yeah. We have no control over who watches us. No, yeah. So, yeah. you know, for people to say you're a bad influence, it's like, well, we don't... Yeah. It's not our fault that we've got kids watching us. It's not my place to dictate, like, what your kid watches. That's, yeah. what, that's on you. Yeah. Like, you chose to have that child. You, therefore, now need to take responsibility for what they're doing on the internet. I'm really sorry. I know that's, like, a huge job. But when I have kids, that's going to be my responsibility mm -hmm. to make sure that they're not doing inappropriate shit on the internet and like that'll be on me. God, this video's got very angry and ranty. Asher Lockett. Asher Lockett. You're adding too many oars. Ah. 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 Open ah. your throat. Open your throat. Ah. Ah. That's it. Asher Lockett. Asher Lockett. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What's that even mean? That's been Tipsy Talk, that's been Hannah Anderson. We've had some drinks and talked some stuff and we hope you liked it. Go check out the video on her channel also and subscribe. We did, it was really fun. Video. It was fun, it was fun. Thank you for coming. Thank all the way from Norwich, she came all the way from Norwich. You better like this. Ooh, that was quite rude. Please like this. Please like this. <laughs> <laughs>